from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. Well, the weather for that concert will be spectacular. Uh, so let's make some plans this weekend. We're going to make some plans today to get outside and enjoy it. Now, it's cool this morning again. Uh, some jackets and uh, for, you know, moms and dads and coats still for the kids at the bus stop early on. I know they're not up right now. Most of them probably not up. Uh, 70 this afternoon. The south winds at 15 to near 25 miles per hour. So we have 30s and 40s right now. So right before sunrise in this pattern, that's when we'll, we'll drop down to the lowest. This morning we'll be in the lower 40s in the metro. By 11 to noon, we're already into the lower 60s. And by the 3 o'clock hour, we're at 70, 8, 9, and 10 o'clock. You know, we always talk about Friday night football, but, you know, not everybody goes to a Friday night football game. Maybe you got dinner and a movie coming up. So that will be into the 50s, basically. Uh, I'm going to show you the national radar composite. It's active to the north, and it's pretty chilly in some of these areas. We've got scattered snow showers along and north of the Great Lakes area. Also in the Intermountain region, there's another storm system through the Pacific Northwest. But the upper air flow is mostly going to take this just right across the middle part of the country over the next couple of days. So this is the front that we've been tracking for the last several days. It moves into part of northern Oklahoma late tonight in northwestern Oklahoma. And it gets closer into northern sections of the state uh, by late tonight and early tomorrow. But it just kind of stalls out. I don't think it's going to have a big impact. In fact, our temperatures will be above normal for the next several days with yet another system nearing the area for the middle to the end of next week. So in terms of any kind of sensible weather changes regarding the air mass, in other words, you know, colder weather arriving, I don't think that's going to happen for the next several days. By Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week, that's when we're going to start to track the front that will be finally getting a little closer to us. So south winds today, 15 to 20. Because that boundary is nearing northern Oklahoma tomorrow, the wind speeds diminish because the pressure gradient starts to drop down. So we get a little break in that category. But then on Sunday, as the front becomes diffuse and it falls apart, the stronger south winds return. We're going to have some gusty winds on Monday, Tuesday, and also Wednesday. And again, all of that will be out of the south. Now, we've been discussing these really low probabilities Sunday, Monday, you know, near north of us. Just took those off the map. So it looks like we're going to get closer to a probability by Wednesday night and Thursday of next week when the front finally takes a little charge at us and moves southward. So today, 70. Tomorrow, 73. 75 on Sunday. We're close to 80 by Tuesday. So now here's Friday night football. 60s to kick off, 56 to end the game. Bedlam still hasn't changed. It's going to be cool in Stillwater tomorrow morning, but by the game, 69 to kick off, 73 at halftime, and it's homecoming in Tulsa tomorrow. Charlotte plays the University of Tulsa. That will be also in the lower 70s and some nice weather. So we're at 46 right now to south wind sustained at 15 miles an hour. Now we have some 30s on the map this morning, but we have some 40s as well. So coats for the kids. Jackets for most folks later today with high temperatures, a mixture of upper 60s, near 70. Tomorrow, 73. Now, we're going to have some clouds off and on tomorrow. The south wind's a little lower. Sunday, gusty south winds and a high of 75. Monday and Tuesday, mid to upper 70s, close to 80. I don't think that front's going to really come through until about Thursday. It'll cool down by this time next week.